I'm telling you, I did that wrong. I forgot. You are watching Everything Nicaragua. I'm Tony. Yo soy Alex. Today we're going to check out, literally, I just got back from lunch at this place. So today I went to check, Alex is here editing videos, working hard. But I got to go to Gigante. Spelt gigantic? Gigante? Gigante. Yeah, but pronounced Gigante. Place is pretty cool. They have a restaurant there called who goes? Who cantes? Who knows the name? I bet Alex does. Juntos. Juntos. Spelled with a J. Kind of like Juntos. Juntos? But Juntos. Juntos. Alright, so Juntos is a bar. It's on the beach. Do we need to restart this one? I think so. <laughs> let's not restart it then. Okay, so what? Uh, let's do some Spanish, some beach Spanish. Okay, so. Coconut tree. Yes. Arbol de coco. Arbol, ar, arbol de coco. De coco. Alright. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. I ordered a buffalo wing chicken sandwich. Freaking delicious. So good. Really good pickles. Really good tomatoes. Awesome ranch kind of Caesar sauce on it. Real lettuce. Like in Nicaragua, getting that type of sandwich is hard to do. Hit them in Spanish. Bueno, Tony dice que le ordenó un sándwich eh, de alitas de pollo con salsa búfalo y que la, eh, la lechuga está buenísima y dice pues que acá en Nicaragua no son muchos los lugares que ofrecen ese tipo de calidad de comida. Excuse me. Alex. <laughs> All right, so they got good chicken sandwiches there. Definitely check them out. Also, a full bar. The service was excellent. The washrooms were super clean and nice. I can't tell. Is he going to do it? Gonna do it? <laughs> um, and uh, I, I definitely recommend it. Uh, we went into Higante uh, to do a little business meeting. It was super successful. Everything went awesome. The food was great. The service was great. Um, I definitely recommend Who does? Así que Tony estaba diciendo desde que este lugar es gigante, es increíble, dice que la comida es muy buena, la atención es excelente, así que si alguien va a gigante, eh, definitivamente tienen que ir a visitar este lugar llamado Juntos. All right, and then since we're talking about food, Alex is a chef. Alex is everything. There's nothing Alex doesn't do. He's a yeah. driver. He's a chef. He's a video editor. He's a talk show host. He is a translator. He is a tour guide. He is a can you get me this guy? Pretty much anything you can get, Alex can get it for you. Uh, what else? A machete artist. <laughs> he is a master machete -er. yeah. Um Let's see, what else does Alex have? Can you drive an ox cart? Yeah, for sure. For sure. So if you ever come across an ox cart that needs driving, Alex is your man. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. No, back to Alex being a chef. What are you doing on the weekends nowadays? Yeah, the weekend will be offering an amazing barbecue here at La Joya de Guasacate. Joya. Si. Where we'll be offering some amazing chicken wings and coconuts. Ice cold coconuts. Ice cold coconuts. Yeah. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. Now tell me about these chicken wings in Espanol. How do you say chicken wings? Si, se dicen alitas de pollo. Alitas de pollo, por favor. All right, now what's really important to me is this is the second weekend you've done the barbecue. You've yeah. the oil. Now, I've been saying there's barbecue. My friend Alex is the chef. What's the name of your new business, man? Have you named it? All right. Alex's barbecue esque. How do you say barbecue in Espanol? Barbecue. Yeah, too simple. See? I don't know. Alex in Espanol? Alex. <laughs> I got nothing for you, but if anybody's got a name for Alex's barbecue, put it in the comments, please. All right, so come up on the weekends between 2 and 4 p.m., Saturday and Sunday at La Jolla de Guasacate. Gua um, <laughs> do you want to do that in Espanol? Sí, claro que sí. Así que ya saben que los fines de semana vamos a estar ofreciendo el barbecue acá en La Jolla de Guasacate. Eh, yo voy a estar cocinando las alitas de pollo y los productos diferentes que estemos ofreciendo. Además de que les vamos a ofrecer cocos helados deliciosos, nos pueden elegir con o sin ron, 
ya saben que pueden venir entre las 2 y las 4 de la tarde o quizás nos vamos a extender un poco más de tiempo, pero definitivamente tienen que venir a visitarnos. Y no, 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 no,